Hey folks, welcome back to another video of Super Mario Odyssey. In the last video, uh, we collected some more power moons around the Mushroom Kingdom, and today we're going to leave the Mushroom Kingdom for now. Because we've done a lot now, but we should now head over to the next kingdom the Cascade Kingdom. I mean, wait, what am I talking about? The Cap Kingdom. So, after you beat the game, you can actually skip that cutscene, so I'm just doing that for now. But here we are, now back in Bonneton. A lot of things have changed, changed since the last time we visited here. Pretty much because now Bowser is completely gone, almost. Or pretty much just. Yeah. So those play <laughs> rocks, all around the world that we've seen, are now like this. And they appear in every kingdom that we've visited. Starting from, of course, is the f this kingdom, and all the way over to the moon kingdom. So pretty much every kingdom prior to beating the game. But how do we get over to that rock? Well, we need to find a paragoma. Wait, did I get all the coal? Mm -hmm. I've only found 42 out of them. So let's see. And I've got these paintings. But first, look who's over here. It's Peach and Chantiara. Yeah, so you'll find Peach in most, pretty much every kingdom here. <laughs> well on Earth. So she speaks of dinosaurs. That's actually quite important for later. Now, although most of you may know what these moon blocks do because, well, the internet. I know that a few people may not. So here we go. Although I actually don't recall seeing this rock before. But yet it was here. And as you can see, there's a bit glit weird movement on it. So let's see what happens. We grab on that and That is a moon rock. Possibly what Pokemon's originate from. So, Nintendo's been so kind that they've noted all the locations of every Pokemon that that moon rock released. And since last time we collected pretty much every power moon. Except for two. Oh, I forgot to actually a few. I was sure when we visited there last time, I collected all of them. Oh wait, now I recall, those are the painting ones. So, practically, you know, it'll be Power Moons galore. And we'll start off with this kingdom, today. I'll be starting to go under uh, some other stuff. As well, during this... <laughs> from here and out like bonus features and other stuff like that so as we can explore we'll find way more power moons and unfortunately we can get a clue to where each of these are there's one close to Luigi
on the hill. It's now a rabbit. Like always, the rabbits will run around, catch them, and you will be rewarded. It's getting worried. They slow down. You know, this game actually has a specific feature of the fact that you don't actually need to push any buttons to run. I think that was taken like from Super Mario 64 when they didn't have that either. Although they did have that in Super Mario 64 DS. So now mirroring to our location, you see this power one here. We'll need, of course, a Power Goomba. And that's a very convenient Power Moon. That was a close one. I never actually see... I don't actually recall that Power Moon being there. But it may, it may just be my memory slipping. Like I've spoken up before, the higher up the goom power goomba that you capture is, the higher it will fly normally. And you can see that sparkly part over there. That's a, another sign for power moons. Because some of these will be actually flying and moving around. Dangerous sign. So let's stalk that bird. Also, this may be the second last video I can make for in a while. Off to my Odyssey because it's going to go on to my holiday soon. Yeah, like I said. I, actually, I didn't notice that before, but the relics in the distance have hats on them. And although many things have changed, you still. You won't be able to return to the Cascade Kingdom like you did at the start of the game. Because that electric thing is removed. Spin the hat to get a prize. So this guy here. He he claims to be not afraid of anything. Not even power goombas. This is like the mm, guy. Mm, you got up here the toad, which we saw back in the mushroom game. Ouch! That wasn't very good. And I lost exactly 10 coins. But now we may have a chance to get a power moon. No, probably not. So there are four more purple coins, but I forgot.
Yes. You know, Super Mario Odyssey is a very exclusive game, one of a kind game of all Mario games because it's the only Mario game where you can't get a game over, actually. Even Super Mario Maker had game overs. Although those game overs are found only in the 100 Mario Challenge. Flying ship. Oh, look, a taxi. Hmm. Let's see what else can we find. Yeah, there's the Cascade Kingdom way over there. And there we have another bird. Maybe before I check that door, I'll probably have to collect that moon because then we'll respawn. I wonder why there's actually quite fog around here so much. Because mist normally appears where there's water. We don't see hardly any water in this kingdom. Super Mario is obviously 64 speed run movement. Yeah, in 64 they up in ground pound. Huh, I've seen hmm, to quickly obtain. Okay. So the last couple of coins are here. Well, actually, they're not called purple coins. They're known as regional coins, actually. All right, I like to refer to them as purple coins. Frogs are actually one of the few creatures in the game that aren't affected by water. Now to head to Crazy Cat. Also, something you may not know about Simar Odyssey is that they actually made a book guide about the game. I learned about it when I was visiting a friend quite recently. And it's a quite big book, to my surprise. It has guidance for all the power moons. And other things for 100%ing. So part of when they talk about the 100%, to gain 100%, you have to collect all the collectibles in each kingdom. And stuff like that. And now we're in this outfit. So here's a special type of clothing that you can rarely find. In fact, there's a special thing you can do with that clothing. However, since there's no special abilities given up by the clothes, the only thing that special like it does is that it gives you the capability of using What am I saying? It only allows you to go into that place in the desert kingdom, sand kingdom that I visited before, which had to hmm, dress in those Mexican clothes. The only other way to enter there is by a skeleton suit because the, the people of the sand kingdom are cactus, are skeletons. So you can't jump here. Position rolling.
Although I can to earn some coins, I'm just gonna dodge. It says me or Artis. There's Finies. Spawning from the ground. Let's roll as quick as we can. If I recall these rings, the beauty is first in Super Mario 3D Land. Ouch, not again. This place is a bit annoying. Well, that's the Let's Play curse. I'm actually behind. Turn, turn, keep it balanced. Roll on and on. I actually learned quite recently that the making of this game started immediately after they had worked with 3D World. Wish for final stage I. I haven't beaten yet, compared to the perfect one which I was able to beat. The problem is that it's a hard stage and Luigi's the most capable of doing it. So did I get this power moon? No. Wait, I did. Then I'll just abandon Cappy. You can see a few windows in this tower. I actually don't think I need to do it too much. So as you can see, there's a Koopa race now here as well. There's one in every kingdom almost. Make this precision jump. Under one's big brim. I'm just gonna suicide myself. No water. My ship is fixed. There's no wards actually for completing anything. So let's just take on the Koopa race here. Okay, so let's begin. good speed. Bam. Oh. 
I know they got the new racer that quickly. Let's be quiet for when we do the second turn. Yes, I did it in the last second. Awesome. That was breathtaking. Capped Kingdom Master Cup. So now we got one moon left plus another one. See now. We've got one behind the tower. There it is. Fly to the e edge of the fog. So we got... We go over there. Our problem count comes to... All but three power moons. You never truly really understood Paragobas. Got it. Now let's see. We got only two power moons left. I think one of them's the painting, so we need to look at it. Because unless we read what it says, it, it will be un mm, impossible for us to take visit. Once we've done that, we'll do the Luigi's Balloon World. And this uh, last one we can collect her. You'll see you again, Captain. Narrow pathway that dips into the fog. So he talks about 
the edge. Maybe on top of the biggest hill. But that's where a rabbit is. So Cabby had some treasure. Hmm. If we could just line up that room perfectly. I don't think I activated that yet. We did well, we collected all the monuments here quite quickly. So, toward the moon. So, what towards the moon? How do you travel to it? It was what I said I did this one. So, so first you went towards the moon. What if I, how if this is a bush? Oh, there it is. Here we go. I 
I don't have to restart it all over again, let's see. Oh, this is a bit silly. First, you went towards the moon. My, my control is vibrating. We got the power moon of forgotten treasure. So now we've collected all but one power moon, which we will collect later on. So we're gonna wrap this video up by doing who this balloon world. Why is where that had in the past? So first let's hide it. should do. We'll find one balloon. It's directly down. Well, that's it for now. Well, okay. So for the next time, we will be heading over to the next kingdom, which is the Cascade Kingdom. So for now, we're just gonna end, go and fill up on power moons. So up until next time. I got to say, thanks for watching, like or subscribe, or leave a comment about anything you want me to do in the game. So, see you guys for next time.